Alice can't get to sleep tonight. Maybe a drink of water would help. Yeah, what was that? Huh? It sounds like someone's eating in my front garden. Oh, maybe it's a giant. Oh, I don't believe it. Our imaginations. There's an elephant in the front garden. <laughs> Are you quite sure your imagination isn't playing tricks with you, Pula? Gigi thinks you might have dreamed it. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's a real elephant. <gasps> Impossible. By the moons of Jupiter, an elephant in suburbia. Gigi, how did that elephant get here? It's me, Mr. Z. I... You let that elephant out of the storybook, didn't you, Gigi? Hmm? I was only trying to read the story about the elephant and the hare. Our only hope is to read the story and get Elephant back where he belongs. But how? Gogo will go mad if she finds an elephant in her garden. Quick, Pula, fetch the storybook. It's our only chance. <clears throat> Long ago, in another time and another place, there lived a hare who thought he was better than everyone else. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you be my friend? Who said that? I don't think it's working, Mr. Z. Elephant is still here. Try reading louder, Mr. Z. <coughs> Hare couldn't see the elephant speaking to him. <laughs> wow! He's going! Oh, it's working! Back in the storybook where he belongs. Come on out, whoever you are. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! It's you! Hello, Hare. Yourself. You surprised me. Hare told Elephant that he had much better things to do than to be friends with a silly old elephant. Oh, all right then. <laughs> that year, the rains never came, and soon all the animals were facing starvation. It's so hot, and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Elephant arrived. He brought some food oh. to share with Hare. Oh. Here, Hare, have something to eat as my friend. Huh? Huh? I can't eat that. I need some fresh, juicy food. Hmm, and I think I know just where to find some. Elephant? took the hungry hare in search of food, hoping that hare would become his friend. Thunder! The rains are coming! <laughs> oh. Sorry, that's just my hungry tummy rumbling. It's so hot. I'm hungry and thirsty now. I'm so hungry. Jumping jump. 
Rabbits! The farm! I'm safe! <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh. you would like it. The farmer's field was full of fresh, juicy maize cobs. <laughs> Shh! Quiet, elephant. Otherwise, someone might hear us. Hare and elephant began to eat. Hare ate very slowly and very little. The elephant ate and he ate mm. and he ate. I might get into big trouble if you eat all the farmer's crop. I can't help it. I'm hungry. Hare didn't realize that to survive, Elephant had to eat a lot. Come on, Elephant! Don't be so greedy! Leave some for the humans! Shh! Why are you making such a noise? Okay, okay. Stop! I say stop! <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Why, Hare? Why, what's the matter? Hare had made so much noise shouting at Elephant that the farmer and his workers, who were holding a traditional ceremony nearby, heard him. They rushed down towards the field. They were very angry. The men beat Elephant for eating their maize crops. They didn't understand that Elephant didn't mean any harm. He was just so hungry. Oh, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eat so much. Oh! Mm. Elephant could not stand any more beatings. He ran off very scared indeed. Mm. Mm. Is and and don't come, come back! back. Yeah. Elephant soon caught up with Hare again. I wouldn't have been beaten if you had kept quiet. Look, when we hares eat, we like to get noisy. It's part of my culture. Hmm. I've never heard of that before. Elephant knew that Hare was making up the story as an excuse for what he'd done. Suddenly, Jackal leapt out of the bushes, very hungry indeed. Come here, Hare. You're going to be my next dinner. Oh, oh, elephant! Help! Oh, save me! Oh! Now, suddenly, you need my help. No, no, come down from the hair, you little coward. Not likely. I'm staying safely up here. No, 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 no. You can't get me. <laughs> Hi, Jekyll. Feeling hungry? No, 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 no. Stop it! What are you doing? <coughs> Trying to get me killed? Stop it shaking! Oh, but in my culture, we elephants like to shake after we've eaten. Elephant was making up this story, just as Hare had done. Elephant wanted to teach Hare a lesson about always being there for your friends. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be a good friend from now on. Promise? Cross my heart. Good. Friends we are, then. If it hadn't been for Elephant's friendship, Hare, I would have eaten you today. Remember that. Trust me. I'll never, ever forget. <laughs> and so it was that Hare learned the first rule of friendship. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Phew, Mr. Z. Lucky you got that elephant back into the story. <laughs> back to the magic cellar, Gigi. And Pula, you go back to sleep. We don't want Gogo to catch us up so late. <laughs> uh, uh, you're right, Mr. Z. I am tired now. And you know what? I might have a dream about the hare and the elephant tonight. <laughs> Good night, Pula. Sleep tight. Pleasant dreams. Zoom in. Ah,